Right guys, it's me, it's Jacob. Um, we need to get to the bottom of this. We really do. Why do people say that I look like a, a fellow YouTuber I'm led to believe, Bazinga? Where is he from? Um, what does he really look like? I've seen a couple of thumbnails, but that's about it. And why recently, more so than ever, have people been saying that I'm actually his dad? Let's get into this. Now, before I do get into this, if you know the answer to that question, please hit me down in the comment section below. Every single comment helps with the algorithm. I believe this is the very first time I've asked you to do that, and it won't be the last. By the looks of things, with 4.52 million subscribers, my only question is, how does a man that looks similar to me, and he does, I'm gonna, <laughs> he does, um, how does a man that looks fairly similar to myself, how does a man that looks fairly similar to myself when I have a beard, um, due to the fact that we both do have ginger beards, um, have so many more subscribers than me? That is the question. I'm going to go and get myself a caffeinated beverage of my choice. I've got three choices downstairs. And, um, well, we're going to get into this. We're going to do a, a bit of a dive. I'm not going to call it a deep dive, but it will be a dive on Bazinga, the man, apparently by the name of Ethan. And let's just see what's up. Because this needs to be done. I've seen it in my comment section far too many times. Let's go. Now, you know just as well as I do. Well, maybe you don't. But I, I've literally had, um, I, I'm going to say five or six different hairstyles in the last two years. I'm going to say five or six different facial hairstyles in the last two years. And um, probably about five or six different earrings as well. But, but the reality is, is that I love that shit. I love changing my look. And it looks as if, from first glance, that Bazinga likes that too, but, but, but first. <sighs> okay, it's about time. It's about time, people. Let's go. Right. The catalyst to this, before we get into it, look, I put a lot of energy into that, that intro. Can I maintain it throughout this whole video? We'll see. But the catalyst to this is, of course, all the comments in the comment section. I decided, once and for all, once people started calling me his dad, to actually look him up. I looked up Bazinga, I saw 4.52 million subscribers. I thought, how the fuck did you do that? And then I started reading a little bit more into it. I haven't watched any of his videos, but I, I am led to believe that he may have received a lot of those subscribers, or at least a lot of that popularity, originally from being part of some sort of group called the Sidemen. Now, I have no idea what they're about. I'm led to believe that possibly KSI is in there. And if that's the case, then, um, well, at 4.52 million subscribers, I'm not really surprised. But I think what we should do first is actually have a look at his latest video, just for the hell of it. It's 11 minutes long. I'm probably not going to watch the whole thing, but we do need to just get a, a bit of a gist about what this guy's about. The video is titled, How I Own Miniminters YouTube Channel. And let's have a look. Howdy ladies and gentlemen of the internet universe. I'm here, back on the sofa, for another... Oh shit. Bazinga Reddit video. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got? What have we got here? So obviously... I like that. All right, so let's have a look at them you first. Guys know that the Bazinga Reddit is oh, for fuck's sake. Right now, we have 96.5 thousand members. I'm looking for more. He's got 96.5 thousand members on a Reddit talking about himself. Well, that's well done. Can we hit 100,000 Reddit users? He's not American, which is a bit of a surprise, but when I think about if he's to do with KSI in any way, shape or form, he most probably will be British. Um, all right then, let's have a look at that intro again. Cause that was, that was good. And, and I will say guys, that I certainly do need something specific to me, specific to my introductions to my videos. Let's have a look at this. Howdy ladies and gentlemen of the internet universe. I'm here, back on the sofa for another Bazinga Reddit video. <laughs> Love it. Let me Hello, try that. Ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Sorry, we'll get into it. Here, up on the sofa. Eventually. For another Bazinga Reddit video. <laughs> so 
obviously you guys know this. All right, hold up. We need to try this myself. Hello, people of the YouTube universe. We're back with another Reddit video. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Now, if I can edit that properly, <laughs> if I can edit that properly, you will see that. If not, we'll skip that. Let's get into it. The Bazinga Reddit is forever growing. Right now, we have 96.5 thousand members. I'm looking for more. He's got a ginger beard. Mine's not that ginger. And I believe my hair is a little bit darker. But let's continue. Can we hit 100,000 Reddit users? Let's do it. But first, this video is brought to you by manscaped.com. If you've been watching the channel a while, you'll... Hang on, let me try that one. But first, this video is brought to you by manscaped.com. You all know that I'm a big fan of Manscaped and their perfect package. It helps getting all the bits and pieces and tidying them up. You guys need to know that the follow through is key. And I'm not talking about the bad kind of follow through. I'm talking about the good kind of follow through. What's the plan? What are you going to do once you've shaved? What's the next step? What are you going to do now that you've shaved them? <laughs> okay. All right. The follow through. Let's go. What is the go to? Well, I've got you covered. Introducing the new refined cologne. Signature scent by Manscaped. Look how fancy this is. Oh. The same signature scent that is in all of the Manscaped products is here, in the cologne. Smelling tasty, smelling like a gentleman, walking past the ladies. They're giving you a That's right, you smell good. Calming and inviting, this signature scent introduces a light citrus burst, settling into the anchoring tones of that woodsy, masculine finish. <laughs> all right, mate. I've got to stop you there just for a second before we get into this, before we continue. Um, that is probably one of the most impressive and different and engaging Manscaped ads I've ever seen on a YouTube video. You've engaged me for a minute and 18 seconds, which is actually over 10% of the entire video and we haven't even got into the meat and potatoes yet. That's, that's well done. Manscaped, you got a good one there. Go to manscaped.com and be sure to check out the new refined cologne and part of the perfect package 3.0 to elevate your grooming game. But I've always thought, I've got to be honest, Bazinga, I've always thought that me personally, I could, look, I just, I just wouldn't, I don't know, it's not that I wouldn't feel comfortable, it's that I wouldn't presume that anyone watching my videos would actually purchase a product, let alone a Manscaped product, from me talking about it. I, I, I don't know, I see Manscaped just too many places, including Bazinga it's, it's, it seems, but um, I guess when you've got almost a million views on like every single video you put up, you're gonna make a bit of dosh, so. Manscaped, your balls, your body, no oh, thank you. 2.5K upvotes, you already know, look, people are giving out awards and stuff, car drivers when they see each other. Hey, they've used Vooj's pick. So me and Vooj and Charlie, we played a, a fan match final for the Europa League final in Baku together. We got to play with Deco, I've actually played football. Or was we against him? Playing against him, bro, pop it in, useless series. <laughs> but he said at the start, he said, oh, have a good, enjoy, so. yeah. And it was like this weird noise. So then we got on the team coach and forever since, oh God. we've just made- Oh God. Well, I'm on my Jake's Wildwater Sports account at the moment, so we will have to deal with this. Curiosity. A full 15 seconds, but I'm gonna skip it for you guys. Those noises. Right, let's continue. Go back and forth, bro, just playing these random noises. Here we go. Okay. This is... <laughs> this is this man, <clears throat> Bazinga, I'm not sure how old he is. He probably looks mid-twenties. <clears throat> Part of the Sidemen. He's British. And he's got a Reddit page. Okay, we've we've seen enough from this video. Let's 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 go back to his channel. Howdy, ladies and gentlemen of the internet universe. I'm here, back on the sofa for another Bazinga Reddit video. <laughs> I fucking love that, eh? I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love that intro. I fucking love it. You've done well. You really have. Um, he's got sponsors with Manscaped. He's got a sponsor with Gymshark. A sponsor with Bulk Powders or bulk official, a second channel, a Twitter. How many ladies and gentlemen? What else you got? 
Instagram, Sidemen Channel, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll open that later. Sidemen Clothing, Sidemen Book, Custom Controllers, How I Record My Gameplay, and My Custom PC. So he's a gamer as well. Maybe that's how he was thrust into the YouTube spotlight. But actually, I have to be honest, I, com I actually completely and utterly forgot that I made this comment. <laughs> but look, would you believe, on this video, okay, what I decided five days ago, it seems, was that, <laughs> actually, that is one of the main reasons why I, I completely and utterly forgot, guys. I was meant to mention it, but I will now. Because I, I wrote a random comment. I literally watched the first two seconds of this video, this very video. I paused it. I went down to the bottom. I didn't want to watch it. I, you know, I'm, you know that's, that's my kind of attitude with my reaction videos. I, I don't like to see anything before I get into it. But what I did do was post a comment, a random comment, on that video five days ago saying, here he is. Now, I... It's got 1.3 thousand likes. 1,300 likes. Does it have a... Oh my god, imagine if he replied. No, he hasn't. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Really low likes and comments for someone who's verified. Ver Here before this blows up. Yeah, it blew up, alright. 1.3 thousand likes. There's no doubt, there is no doubt in my mind that Ethan Payne has seen that comment. That's, that's, that's huge. That has blown up. 1 point holy shit. Okay, right, the power of having a verified tick, I'm telling you. Either that or the power of looking exactly like um, Ethan. But let's go back. What do we got? How to be Bazinger, he's got his own series. He's got his own series. Now he does look slightly different with a, a fade, a short fade. Shit, I should have faded my hair. It's, it's um, geez, it's, yeah, it's getting a bit long. It needs a fade. Um, but it does seem as if Bazinga. It's all around us. Only to look it, 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 it does seem as if. Here he is. Yes. <laughs> I don't look like him, bro. Do I? <laughs> Maybe I do. <laughs> okay. Bro, this guy has a series, a YouTube original series. Okay, he's absolutely made it. Um, but not only that, it's about him taking on the London Marathon and it was premiered in October of 2020. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, I did my very first marathon. I'm gonna say this is probably his, his very first marathon. Mine's in Queenstown, New Zealand. His is in London. But that means that us lookalikes, apparently, did a marathon within a month of each other last year. Now, if that's not a coincidence, I don't know what is. Is how I became who I am. Teenage Cancer Trust have asked me to run the London Marathon and, and there's no other answer than yet. When I started this journey, there really was. What? What, cunt? What? No athletic ability inside of this body. Holy shit, bruv! You look amazing now! There really was no athletic ability. It's oh my god, alright, let me do this. Let's see if we can really do this shit. <laughs> look at this shit, bruv! <laughs> alright, let's continue. Side of this one. Hey. Oh, he's training with the he's training with the, the beast, Eddie Hall. Your trust process. Today where you come from and where you're going, you're just so inspiring. We've been through so much together. I love my friends so much. Come on, mate, this is off. So he can cry on camera. Fantastic. What the marathon's gonna be like. Ethan's my whole world. A lot of people don't really know the real situation behind everything that me and my mum have been through. You might just stop. Look inside of yourself and really start making the right choices to be the person you want to be. That is why I'm doing this documentary. What I will say is that my eyebrows actually look brown, but they're not. Um, we have the same eyebrows, I'll give you that much. Oh, the glasses. That was the other thing. He wears glasses, doesn't he? How 
How to Be Bazinga. Oh my god, this looks like a fantastic series. Let me have a look. There's four, four total episodes. Marathon Day is here. Okay. Let's have a look at the, the trailer, at the very least. This is a whole new chapter. This is where I can really get across what I want to do and really prove to people that I can do what I put my mind to. When I started this journey, there really was no athletic ability inside of this body. Insane. How big is Bazinga? 103.1 kg. You sort of think, oh, I'm unhappy. Like, this is not what I want to be like. I know that at times he was down, but I think that he felt that down. I didn't know if I was going to see my friend again. I knew that that was the start of becoming something better. Teenage Cancer Trust have asked me to run the London Marathon and there's no other answer than yes. It might be hard, but it's going to be worth it. It's on part of the process, you've got to trust the process. He's inspiring in his determination and drive. To hear where you've come from. So we just watched that, didn't we? They must show that at the start of each episode, which makes sense. Okay, guys, we're going to stop that there. I'm going to go back to his page. How many ladies? <laughs> ba -ba 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 bang! Um, <laughs> I'm going to go back to his page. He's got a second page. Bay to Inga. Um, welcome to the Bazinga channel, now a museum which holds host to many of a memory. Relive the Sidemen GTA funny moments, the old trials rage, the Gary's Mod antics, and of course the golf with friends anger. Okay, so I'm assuming that's a gaming channel. And after reading that, I'm assuming that the side men may have been a group of gamers that received a bit of notoriety on YouTube due to their funny antics playing the game of GTA. Hey, hang on. Bazinga is sitting with The Rock and Kevin Hart. And he looks totally... Oh Holy shit, this is four years ago. Yeah, good to see you, man. Oh, good to see you. I know we have a relationship. I know. We're way back. You know what man? Is everything good with you? That's good. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Bro, You have killed it, mate. You've absolutely transformed yourself. What a good cunt. Video here, I'm joined with Vic, we've got Kevin Hart, and we've got Dwayne Johnson as well today. That's insane! Listen, my name first, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I can't even imagine sitting in front of these two guys. Oh my god, that's four years ago. Unbelievable. Alright, let's have a look at him with glasses. Man, it's that time! <laughs> Bazinga Reddit. We've got an upgrade. Better quality camera and that. Drop on that. Oh, so let's get into this video. As you can see, do you mind just being quiet a little minute, fella? Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, Raven just released his biggest update ever. Sorry, I'm trying to get a screenshot that I can actually, um... The Doom Tower, one hundred. Try and replicate. The Free Spirit Champion, 50,000 silver. So, he gained... So this is February 14th. This is, um... It's actually only a month ago. <laughs> Well, let's try and re replicate this, okay? The, the title of this video is Do I really look like Bazinga and who the hell is he? Well, we know who he is. I, I am going to look up some stats because you guys know I love my stats. I'll have to do a Wikipedia search. But first, let's just let's try and recreate this for a second. Let's get into the Reddit then. We have 90,500 members now. That's a big well done for you, love, because I helped you lot pump the numbers up because Josh overtook us on Reddit. It's got some nice sweet edits, I will say that. Now, do I look like him? I don't know. You guys will let me know. Maybe I look like his dad. Look, we both love fitness, it, it, it's, it seems. I, I can't imagine him letting himself go like he did before. You know, after you do get in shape, once you do feel that self-esteem buzz you know every single morning if you're running every day like he was leading up to the marathon i doubt whether he is now because that's actually very hard to maintain but he'd be feeling on top of the world and and before we go i do want to just look up his wikipedia because i wouldn't be doing this guy justice and i, I wouldn't be doing you guys justice without finding out exactly who this guy is um let's go ethan payne do we have a wiki? No, no, we, we don't. Um, Sidemen. We'll go to the Sidemen website. 
and we'll read what's side, side men. What, what is, you know what, I'm going to have to Google that. What is the side men? They have a Wikipedia. The Side Men is a British YouTube group comp comprising KSI, Miniminta, Zerka, TBJZL, Bazinga, Vic Star123, and W2S. The group is best known for its various YouTube channels, which, ha which have a combined total of around 16 million subscribers as of February 2021. Right. Some of the members knew each other before the group was formed, so it's a YouTube group. Not so much gaming, but they've all got their own individual YouTube channels. Let me just get some light in here. Um, so it's a YouTube group, not so much gaming, but they do have their own YouTube channels, and they formed as a group. A British group. The YouTube content. The group has three YouTube channels, Sidemen, More Sidemen, and Sidemen Reacts. Um, various videos including challenges, sketches and video game commentaries. Since 2018 the group has released a weekly video series named Sidemen Sundays. As of February 2021, last month, the Sidemen channel has over 10 million subscribers and 2 billion views. Jesus Christ. On 18th of June 2018 the group released a web television series The Sidemen Show available ex exclusively on YouTube Premium. It comprised 7 30 minute episodes filmed around the world alongside a number of celebrity guests. Since 2014, the group has sold and distributed Sidemen clothing merchandise. And the list goes on. They've, uh, they've, they've received an award in 2017, <clears throat> the British Book Awards for Sidemen the Book, actually nominated, and they were also nominated in 2019 for a Shorty Award um, for the best YouTube ensemble, or in other words, the best YouTube group. Okay. Interesting. I probably would have loved them back in the day, but I had no idea who they were. And I certainly didn't know who Bazinga was, but I do now. So let's let's just read up on a bit of a profile here. I think if I had his hairstyle and his beard, we would look very, very similar. <laughs> so he's 25 years of age. Also known as Bazinga, Ethan Lee Payne, a YouTube personality and member of the Sidemen. Ethan was born in, hos in a hospital in London. Um, his parents divorced when he was very young, so his mother brought him up. It is unknown of the current whereabouts of Ethan's biological father, who is often joked about in videos. Ethan's also mentioned a few times that he had a stepdad at some point and a fake family. In his official documentary, How to Be Bazinga, Ethan talks about how his biological father disappeared once. Okay, I've, I've decided that I will be bringing a reaction video to that documentary series how to be bazinga leading up to the london marathon to this channel because i feel like that is where we're going to learn the most about who is ethan lee payne aka one of seven members of the sidemen he's got tattoos he was considered the most immature of the group finding talking about sex to be hilarious in 2018 ethan lost a significant amount of weight um, and stated <clears throat> that he weighed around 85 kg now, came down from 103 as we saw. For many years beforehand, he was subjected to a multitude of jokes, abuse about his weight. Stated in his podcast that he went through a period of depression and heavy drinking as a result of being seriously unhappy with his life and posting videos nearly every day. He went on to say that he's no, he no longer feels that way, he's more content with himself and is in a better place now. This, this was also discussed in How To Be Bazinga. Ethan was in a relationship with Emily Gear from 2016 to 2018. Jeez, that was interesting. A lot more interesting than I thought. I have to look him up. People have said that I look like this guy for many years. I mean, I do need a bit of a fade and I think I'll get that soon, but... You know, interesting story. Interesting story. He's got four and a half million subscribers. Every video that he puts up gets a million views. I mean, you'd hope that he'd feel good. But believe it or not, even having all that popularity, he wasn't feeling so good. Because all that matters is what's up here. You know what I mean? You need to be right up here. And for him to get right up here, it seemed like he needed to lose that weight. And not only that, but run the London Marathon. So we're going to get into that, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I do hope that Ethan does get told about it. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he'll get tagged in it at the very least. But he probably doesn't have much time. He's probably a very busy boy. And with that being said, that actually brings us to the end of the video. So all I'm going to say is best of luck, Ethan. I'm going to watch your story now on the channel, the three episodes, and we're going to enjoy it. And that'll be it.
Maybe I'll meet you one day, maybe I won't. But uh, I just want to finish on just, just one thing, and one thing only. Ba -ba 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 and peace out.